Yes, yes, yes. The Secrets of Safety Dog. Most Mondays at 1 o'clock. Not 2.43 or 12.43 like um, I scheduled it. Ah, there's days, eh? We'll see how this uh, show goes today. Because, of course, The Secrets of Safety Dog is always an interesting um, situation. You never know what goes wrong when you do a live uh, broadcast. So, it's one of those things. And I know I screwed up the schedule, but hopefully any regular uh, listeners and viewers will know we go live at 1 o'clock. Now, am I going to go live next Monday? It's a long weekend. Are you taking the Friday or the Monday off? Leave me a comment. I'd like to know. Um, I think most people are taking the Friday off. And therefore, I will probably be working on Monday. I think I'm taking the Friday off. Uh, if that seems to be what most people are doing. And if that's the case, then I will be uh, live on Monday one o'clock. It's an unusual weekend that we take the Friday off. And of course, this is Canada Day uh, that we are celebrating on July the 1st. And as, uh, not to make a political statement, but I know there are uh, things happening in the news that some people say we should uh, cancel Canada Day. Um, I, for one, I don't believe that we should cancel Canada Day. Do, should we be paying attention to what's happening in the news, paying, being respectful? Did we make a mistake? I think so. Um, uh, it doesn't make me any less proud to be a Canadian. Um, hey, every country has made their mistakes in the past. That's for sure. Just as humans, basically humans have made mistakes in the past, and I certainly make my fair share of mistakes. Welcome to another episode of the uh, Secrets of Safety Dog. And this is kind of going to be a little bit of a different one. Let me get my yellow truck out there. And if, and if you're getting value from these things, uh, like and comment. I really appreciate that. So what are we doing? What makes this a little bit different? Well, we're going to start a new segment. Let me share my screen. If I did it right, yeah! So who's on... We'll get to what's new in just a minute. Who's on the Dog On It Trucking Podcast this week? Well, it was none other than myself talking about how to control trucking insurance. With trucking costs or trucking insurance costs being certainly in the top six expenses for trucking companies, um, how to control it and what to do. So that's what we were talking about there on the Dog On It Trucking Podcast. ELDs can't do a Secrets of Safety Dog without talking about ELDs that are legal um, or the law now in Canada. And of course, as I do most Mondays, I checked uh, the list of approved ELD vendors. And that link is in the show notes down below. Um, the, the list of approved vendors is again still blank. So it makes it very difficult to comply with the law when we don't have any approved vendors. And of course, as you I'm sure are aware, uh, enforcement is taking place educationally. No tickets are being issued. No violations are being issued at the moment. So uh, it's not a big deal. And of course, Ontario announced that June the 12th of 2022, all intra-provincial carriers that have to complete a paper log right now in 22 will have to have an ELD. So, uh, kind of cool. All right, so this is going to be the first of a new segment, Pro Tips. Safety Dog is bringing you some pro tips and this week's pro tip, we are going to talk about road evaluations and what's my pro tip on road evaluations. So these segments, I believe, are gonna be a bit shorter I'm hoping to make them a bit shorter if I can keep my mouth shut. Um, but the uh, road evaluation, so you know you need to, road evaluations are also called road tests. Uh, you know that you need to document your road tests, 
for your road test. You should go at least 25 miles or 40 kilometers on the road test. You should have a set route for your road test. I believe that they need to be at least two hours because whenever I am doing a road evaluation, I find that the driver, especially if they're experienced drivers, need reminding on how to do a proper vehicle inspection. And by the time I get through the vehicle inspection with them, an hour has already gone while I remind them how to do something. That might be a pro tip as well. Um, remind the drivers how to do a proper vehicle inspection. And then an hour on the road, uh, you know, encompassing highway, city, railroad tracks, all that kind of stuff. Those are kind of the normal things. But here, the pro tip, I'm just goofing around with you, but the pro tip is, uh, let's get back to there, uh, to comment and to score. Um, sorry, uh, yeah, comment and to score. Make your comments very specific to that driver and to the things that that driver does well and to the things that that driver needs to improve. And if you believe that you can work with that driver and improve, improve the shortcomings that that driver displays, because after all, I started this um, talking about how all humans make mistakes as well as countries making mistakes. Well, I believe on most road tests, drivers make mistakes and you can help that driver become safer by educating that driver and putting the comments in writing. And the advantage to this is that every road test, the documentation for each road test becomes different. And that's going to be huge should they become an exhibit in court cases. And your insurance safety guy wants to see, oh, look at this, every one of them is different. It implies that you're actually doing them. So I really think that is a um, pro tip. A link to my road test form that I use with scoring on it, and I believe that's also a pro tip, scoring uh, is in the link down below. So with that, let me get back to, um, here. So that's it. See, it's much shorter broadcast, but a pro tip, make your comments and score the road evaluations, comments and score. And I've given you a link down below to get my road test form that would help you do just that. So with that, pro tips, new live feature. Um, don't know how often we're going to do pro tips. We're going to be alternating back and forth between CVR, conditional CVRs, CVR ratings, um, and pro tips from Safety Doc. So that's this week. We are finished. Yeah, baby. Uh, that's it. The Secrets of Safety Dog has concluded for the June the 28th. Awesome. Thanks so much. Have a great day.